Oh my goodness, are we going to be controversial today. Our topic today is why we're not giving the seller the commission that we charge. Now, I know automatically you say, holy crap, that's unethical. You can't have them sign without agreeing to it. No, hold on a minute. Let's let them decide what to charge because they're going to pay you more than you wanted in the first place. I think we got a cool topic today. You're going to love this information. I'm Greg Luther. Obviously, if you've been following me for a while, you know that. Uh, we have thousands of agents all over the country earning well over a half a million dollars a year. And guess what? I want to do the same for you and do so for free. So our topic today is how do we go out on listing presentations and convince this seller that they should go with us uh, without telling them what we charge for commission? Because I got to tell you, no matter what you charge, it's going to be too much. If you say 6%, there's somebody that'll do it for cheaper. If you say 5%, someone will do it for cheaper. If you say $2,000, there's people in your market that will list it for cheaper. You're never going to win the price war. So our topic today is how you can get listings at a much higher commission by simply letting them decide what they want to charge. When they quote the fee, you say okay. I'm going to show you how to do that. You'll want to share this with your friends, like this post so you can get more of this good stuff as well. Uh, for those of you that are interested in getting a lot more listing agreements, uh, I want you to go to luthercall.com. You'll get some really good information there. Uh, I update that training video every single week. So if you watched it more than seven days ago, there's new content on there today. So again, let's get back to our topic here, which is how you go about building value and letting the seller decide what your commission should be. Completely contrary to what we've done in the past, what I want you to do, and if you've been through our Bulletproof Listing presentation, you've seen this. In the Bulletproof Listing presentation, we go through our introduction, the education phase, educating the homeowner. Then we go into a soft close, after the soft close, if we get our yes there, they say, yeah, I think we're going to do business with you. We then go into presentation of price and fee and then the close. When we get to the presentation of price and fee, we've already built all of the value. So the education's there, what you do, the marketing that you do, whatever your company does, you do individually, that type of thing. Uh, we've already given them that value. And when we get to presentation of price and fee, the seller's going to tell us what they believe they should pay. I think you're gonna find this very helpful for you. I'm actually going to show you exactly how we do that. I'm gonna uh, give you some examples here today. So um, obviously agents come to me because they're usually doing pretty well in business, but they're looking to do better. They're looking to grow a team, grow their production. I've got several agents around the country doing hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, Frankly, on a gross commission, that's not a whole lot. You've got to do a large gross to get a pretty good net. I think you'll agree with that. Our expenses are crazy in real estate. So um, they usually come to me, and oftentimes what I'll find is they have kind of a normal fee that they charge. And it's not uncommon for agents to say, well, Greg, you don't understand in my area, 5% is the norm. Well, Greg, you don't understand in my area, 6% is the norm. Okay, well, don't quote a fee. Build enough value around this that the seller will decide what the commission will be. And I'll bet you when you use this approach right here, one of these three colors that you see, when you use this approach, they're going to pay you more than you wanted in the first place. And it's their idea to begin with. So there's going to be a lot of blowhards that watch this and say, oh my gosh, Greg, I've been doing this 37 years. I don't care. We're making millions of dollars doing it this way. And there's thousands of agents around the country doing far more production. Maybe we ought to copy what top producers do. I'm going to show you how to do it. You do what's called a menu of services. Now, I know using our reverse camera here, it's backwards, so you can't really read through that stuff but you're going to utilize what's called a menu of services. So here is your answer, and this is really cool. Here's your answer. The seller says, okay, this all sounds great, and we love your marketing. You seem like the best agent. What's your commission? Here's your response. Whatever you want it to be. Here's our menu of services here. There's three different options you'll have. You just choose the one that's best for you. Would you like me to describe them to you? That's all there is to it. It's that simple. No pressure. If they say, well, I got a Remax guy that'll do it at 5%. I got a Cobble Banker, a Century 21, a Keller Williams. I got a brother that'll list it for $1,900. Whatever it is, pressure gone. You don't need to do what we usually do. And this is, listen, I've listened to thousands of recordings. I shouldn't say thousands, hundreds of recordings of agents in listing presentations where they're using their cell phone, they just turn on the audio recorder and they give their presentation. 
used for training purposes. And what I find is the seller will say, okay, this all sounds great. What's your commission? And the agent will say, um, we charge 6%. And, and, but what I'm willing to do, since I've got a relationship, like they start giving away immediately because they can't handle that little bit of silence. Or they'll start justifying it, right? Um, well, we charge 6%. And let me tell you why we charge 6%, because we do. now you're justifying yourself. You cannot give a presentation that way because the seller, in their mind, they're thinking, okay, 6%. Oh, now he's justifying all the re – maybe that is too – maybe there is a cheaper option. So we don't have to do that at all. When the seller says, well, let me ask you, how much do you charge? What is your commission? Whatever you'd like it to be. Here's our menu of services. You can choose whichever one's best for you. You can see we have a silver, gold, and platinum. You can go with whatever option is best for you. I actually provide this in a Word doc, as ghetto as we're going here. I'm gonna show you my laptop from a cell phone. The menu of services is very simple because you can change each of these check marks. Now, you have looked at software programs or membership programs or anything else where they'll show you here's good, better, best, right? And that's pretty normal. So you'll see this one covers this much stuff or you can get the much better one or the really, really good one. And it's got more and more and more things to it, okay? Now, what we're doing is when we slide over that menu of services, it eliminates that negotiation pressure because the sellers say, okay, well, Remax said they do it at five. He does have a 5% option. By the way, here's a 5% option. We'll put it on the MLS. That'll syndicate to a whole bunch of websites. Uh, we put a sign in the yard, and we're going to pray together. Like That's basically what we're doing, right? Now, if you want the gold package, you'll get everything from silver, but you're also going to get targeted marketing campaigns, online and offline marketing, our best bidder event, every door direct mail campaign. You're getting a lot more stuff. You can fill in each of these check marks with whatever it is that you offer. And then if they want the platinum service, they get all of that plus this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And you can decide what that is. Now, how does this work? Silver, gold, and diamond. What you can do, you can charge five, six, and seven. You can charge five and a half, six, six and a half. You can charge six, six and a half, seven. You can charge six, seven, eight. We've got some agents that do a six, seven, and eight plan. What I want you to do, and I want to make sure you get the psychology around this, make sure you're paying attention and you have a cautiously optimistic mind for a moment. Because if you get this, it's a game changer for you. What I want you to do is whatever your middle of the road price is. If I look at your last 20 closings, what was the average commission that you charged your sellers on the last 20 seller closings that you had? What was your average commission? Let's say it's 6%, okay? If it is 6%, I don't care if it's five, five and a half, commissions are negotiable, charge what you want. Make that average your middle option. You'll go a little bit lower for the silver program and higher for the platinum program. Well, Greg, I want to do everything for everybody. Okay, have some crazy things for the platinum. We'll pay for a staging company to come out. We'll do the 3D dollhouse tour, the virtual tour of the home. We'll have a drone go up in the air and do, we'll do some kind of premium service for the platinum fee, 7% or whatever that is. Does that make sense to you? So the reason you're doing that, and I was telling this story uh, the other day as well, the reason you're doing that is because as an example, uh, if you've been watching my Facebook Lives, you can see that we changed. I used to have a picture here, okay? This is now a different artwork because it doesn't have glass on it, so it doesn't glare from the lighting and all that stuff. But I had to get a drill. So I went to Home Depot, and there was three choices on drills, good, better, best, right? And you know, anything that you're buying, you're going to have different price ranges. There was $29, $59, and $79, I wasn't even thinking about 29. You ever bought one of those things before? Like it'll break as it's coming out of the package and the battery lasts about 13 seconds. You can't drill one nail or one screw with that thing, right? So, and you're probably the same way. All you're thinking is, do I want middle of the road or do I want premium? I don't want the cheap stuff because cheap is cheap, right? So I want middle of the road or the best option there is. That's why you take your average and make that middle of the road. Most people aren't going to go with this. It's good to have that low option because now the other guy said he'd do it at five or my brother's a realtor. He'll do it. Yeah, he's going to do like this. You know what he won't do? All of this stuff. This only happens when you pay for it. So now what they're thinking is, okay, I'm only weighing these two options. I kind of like this one, but do I want all of these other options? Does that make sense? 
So very, very simple approach for you to use. And what you'll find is they're going with middle or top notch. Now, uh, of course, those were the ones I was looking at. Going back to that drill story, there's drills for $199, right? But I don't need like two batteries and extra chargers and, you know, all the crap, the, the, the torque. I mean, I'm putting up a picture. You know what I mean? Like that's not what I do. So I'm looking at what I would consider good, better, best, or in our case, cheap, average, premium, which is better for our needs, right? You can then get into cordless and also has a circular saw that comes, you know, there's all of the package deals. But I want you to get the point, the, the analogy that I'm using here for your listing presentation. And again, look, we have audio recordings of agents all over the country doing this over and over and over and over. And faced with an option, you'll find that about 30% of them are going to take your premium. About 30%. Now, it might be different depending on how you present yourself, but about 30% of them are going to take the premium option. So I've got an agent up in New York. I just had a conversation with her the other day, um, what we call fake New York, not real New York. So it's out in the boonies, Rochester, upstate New York, not the million dollar houses. These are much lower price. But we were having the uh, conversation and she said, every home I list, she's listing, I'm guessing right now, 15 to 18 properties a month somewhere in that range it might be a little lower a little higher but 15 to 18 properties a month is what she's listing right now she said all of them i list i list at six percent we got a listing presentation almost every day that we're working and we list them all at six percent i said okay here's what we're going to do we're going to create a menu of services your middle of the road is six percent she said well i don't want to take anything less than that as many as we lit okay then your silver option is five and a half Nobody's going to take it anyway. There will be more people taking your seven than there will taking your five and a half because they see this is what you get, right? You could also drive a freaking Kia if you wanted to. You could drive a smart car if you want to, but like you're getting this much. People choose to get better options. And, and well, do you want power windows? Yeah, I want power windows. Do you want the auxiliary cord hookup? Yeah, I want that. Do you want the GPS? Yeah, I want that. Those options cost more money. So now what we're doing is we're getting out of that commodity real estate of, are you going to list it? What does he charge to list it? Are you charging less than him to list it? Who cares about listing it? We list homes for free. We charge to sell them. You want to sell your home? Here's the things that have to be done in order to get them to sell. Does that make sense to you? So when you utilize a menu of services, um, and you'll find all of my coaching members from all over the country, this is what we utilize. We talk about this on our coaching calls. Um, you can go to blueprintforclosings.com. You'll get some details on that program and how it all works. Again, blueprintforclosings.com. That's F-O-R, not the number for blueprintforclosings.com. Uh, you'll get some details there, but this is like standard equipment for us. When we go on a listing presentation, there's no pressure needed. You don't have to sit there and quote a fee because no matter what you quote, it's going to be too much. And they'll say, well, how much will I net from that? No, I'll charge whatever you want to charge. Just like when you go in a restaurant, right? Here's the menu. Make anything you want. We can make something for you for $9. We can give you the fajitas for $29, right? Whatever you want. You want add-ons. You want additional stuff. You want a side. You want double bacon. What are you looking for? We can do that. Well, it's the same thing here because can't you provide basic marketing for your seller or really go above and beyond staging, um, decluttering, um, advice on what they should do to make those changes. Again, 3D dollhouse tour, online marketing, magazine ads, whatever it is that you do, there's countless number of things that you could do. Um, the worst thing you could ever do an open house, but if you do open houses, we'll add that on here. We're not doing it at the cheapie, right? Because if they're listing with someone for cheap, I will promise you they're not doing all that stuff. You know why? Because there's no money to do all that stuff. A stager costs money. A virtual staging, which is a big thing now, that costs money to do, right? So they're going to get whatever they pay for, but it allows them to first choose you, then choose the price. The problem we've dealt with for years and years is they're choosing the agent based on the price. I want them to first choose me, then choose the price that they'll pay based on what they want from me. So what this does is this gives them a yes or yes option. Now, let me give you some advanced techniques here. You're really gonna love this part. This is an advanced technique. 
Many times when you go out on a listing appointment, depending on how well you're presenting or how well you're closing, if you've got a good strong close, you're gonna hear things at the end like, wow, that sounds really good. I think we're gonna list with you, but we wanna think about it. We wanna sleep on it. We're not real sure yet. Uh, we never make quick decisions. We got another agent to interview. We're gonna give you a call. All of those things mean no. Now you can contest all you want, I talk to 30,000 real estate agents all over the country. I know exactly what it means. It's the nice way of telling somebody no. That's what you do if you go to test drive a car and you don't wanna buy the car. If you go try on a watch or a, a um, bracelet and you decide you're not gonna buy it, you'll say, okay, well, we wanna go look at one more place and we'll be back. How late are you open today? You're open till eight o'clock? Okay, and what's your name, Bob? Okay, Bob, we'll ask for you and we can, you're not coming back. You're letting them down easy as a jewelry salesperson that's selling a $100,000 watch or whatever it is that you're looking at. You're letting them down easy rather than saying, you know what? I think that's too much money for it. I'm not going to go with you. Because uh, be honest with me here. How many times have you been on a listing presentation and the seller said, hey, um, thanks so much for your presentation. You really did a good job here. We're definitely going with Remax. Thanks for coming. Pack your stuff up. Uh, we've decided to go with someone else. They never do that. They're not telling you, you suck, we're going with the other guy. They're not doing that. What they're doing is, okay, well, we want to think about it. We're not real sure yet. We're going to weigh our options. We got one more guy. To, and all of those things mean no, but not one time. I, we can put agents on a phone call. Many of you know in our coaching program, we do Zoom online videos and I'll interview some of our coaching members. I can put five of them on there that are doing over a half a million dollars a year. They're listing dozens of properties and they'll tell you never once has a seller said, thanks for your presentation, but we're going to choose someone else. They will not do that face to face. People simply won't talk to a salesperson like that. For some reason, it became okay to lie to salespeople. To say, okay, I think we're going to go with you, or we want to think about it, or we're not real sure yet, or we're weighing our options, we're not ready yet, we're going to wait till next month, we're waiting till the kids get out of school. All of those factors that get in the way. We can eliminate all that stuff doing this. Now, here's the, the advanced tip that I'm going to give you. This is a pro tip that you can use this for immediate closings. They're not going to tell you that they want to think about it or that they wanna sleep on it, or they'll call you tomorrow, or they have other people to interview. If you're doing all of this stuff, because by the way, and I know you can't see it with it being reversed using our, the rear camera of the phone and that type of thing, but this says everything from silver and everything from gold plus all of these items. If you're doing all of these things, one of them has an advertising deadline of this week. Okay? One of them does. Now, be honest about this. I always want you to be honest. Integrity, that's so important. You can make so much money doing it the right way. You never need to skate on that. So if I know my Facebook guy uh, does all of my Facebook ads on, on Saturday mornings, okay? So what I can do is when I meet this seller on a Friday night, I can say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, um, I've given you the best presentation I can. I've shown you all of your options. It looks like, provided you and I can agree on price and commission, I'm the best agent for your needs. Now, I know we've got to agree on price and commission, but based on everything I've shown you so far, would you agree that I'm the best agent for your needs if we can come to terms on those two things? Did you see me saying this, by the way? Would you agree that I'm the best agent for your needs? Okay. They're going to say, well, yeah, as long as we come to terms on that. Okay, well, great. Here's what I want to do. I see that you're looking at our menu of services and trying to decide what's best for you. My Facebook advertising deadline is tomorrow. We talked about the fact we're selling a lot of properties with that direct marketing approach. Our deadline's actually tomorrow. Now, I don't want to put a sense of urgency in you. If you guys aren't ready tonight, I'm totally fine with that. I'm a big boy and I can handle it. However, if you're ready today, I know that I can sell your home faster by doing that. So this deadline's kind of putting a sense of urgency in us. If you're ready to sign today, I'm willing to give you the platinum service at only the gold fee. Now, again, I can only do that today. And reason being, I know that will help us tremendously if I can get this marketing started. You guys say you're ready to make a move. I want to make that happen for you quickly. I can provide the platinum program at only the gold fee. Would that make sense for you? And many times I say, well, would you do the gold program? It's, no, because it doesn't include the Facebook advertising anyway. That wouldn't do us any good. As a matter of fact, if that's what you're looking to do, there's a whole bunch of commodity agents out here that'll just throw a sign in the yard. That's not gonna do you any good. My recommendation, if you're going the cheap route, 
make them sell it in 60 days. If they don't sell it in 60 days, come back to me so we can sell it the right way and get the price that you want. I think based on this type of home, it would actually be doing you a disservice to just throw a sign in the yard. That's not fair to you as homeowners. So if you guys do wanna take action today, we can do the platinum at the gold price. Does that make sense for you? And we can close the deal like that. So very simple approach for you to use. You've gotta know how this works, the way to present it, all of that stuff. We can't cover it in 10 minutes on a Facebook Live uh, or if you're watching this later on YouTube or whatever the case is. But I think you'll find if you change that approach, our goal here is to not be a slimy salesperson, not create pressure, not be uncomfortable. And what happens is anytime we're quoting a commission, there's a little bit of that, that silence creates a little bit of friction that we don't want that seller to have. I want them to be comfortable. I want them to decide whatever they'd like to charge. It's totally up to them. That way they don't feel like they were screwed over. They could go with the cheaper option if they want. It's, it's up to them what they feel is best. I think you'll find that you'll create a better bond that way. They're going to be more tied to you and it's more comfortable because they know, okay, this is the best agent for my needs. Now I gotta decide which of their services do I want. Because first and foremost, I'm definitely using them, okay? Uh, and, and then they can decide what commission structure that they'd like to have based on your menu of services. Tremendous way of doing business. By the way, very uh, specific approach here. We teach this inside Greg Luther Coaching. Laminate this thing and only take one with you, okay? Why? So they don't say, well, let me keep this and show it to my brother so that he will do all these things as well. Let me keep this and show it to... Keller Williams, Century 21, Cobalt Banker, Remat, whoever it is, let me keep this and show it to them so that they can do all of these things too. No, that's not how it works. Here's our menu. Just like if you go to Waffle House, it's laminated. Don't take the damn thing with you, right? Here's our menu. And then you can take it with you so that they make a decision right then and there. Frankly, if they don't make a decision there, you're not coming back anyway. Let's be honest with each other. Nine of 10 times, you're not going back. So is that helpful for you? Do you see this as helpful? Have you already liked this page, liked this post, um, so you can get more information like this? I think you'll find that when you hang out with rock star agents that are doing extremely well, top producers from all over the country, when you utilize the approach that they use, works so much better than what we're taught in textbooks or what we're taught by our brokers or what we're taught in silly classes that the brokerage puts on and has the loser agents from the office teach. Like they sold eight houses last year. How can they teach me to be rich? The agent grossed 200 grand last year. How can they teach me to make real money? Because if you gross 200, you're not making real money. These techniques are what's going to make a tremendous difference for you. If you'll learn how to do it, you'll take ownership of that and present it so that you're on the right side of the fence with the sellers. Um, I hope that's helpful for you. Any questions you have, as always, reach out to us. Uh, a couple of resources I gave you today. Um, you should go to luthercall.com. There's a new video on there every single week. Uh, so you'll want to go there. There's no opt-in or anything like that. Just watch the video, just like you're watching right now. You don't have to opt-in for that. Uh, and the other one is blueprintforclosings.com. I do a webinar every Wednesday. I would encourage you to get on that. Uh, that's where we talk a little bit about Greg Luther Inner Circle and some of the uh, assets, the marketing assets that you can utilize to start closing a lot more business. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Anything I can do, reach out to me here. Uh, feel free to share this with a friend. I think you'll find if you have any real estate agents at all uh, that follow you or that you're friends with or you've got them on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, whatever else we're using these days, um, it's going to be incredibly um, thought-provoking for those people. So like this page here, uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, you'll get more information exactly like this here. So hopefully that's been of service. Reach out if I can help you in any way. Um, I've given my uh, personal email address. You can reach us on Facebook. I believe you can get us through YouTube too. So whatever you need to do to reach out to us, I'm here to help. Thanks so much for watching today. Go out there and make some money. Try that menu of services one time. You'll find nobody's gonna take the cheap option. They're going middle of the road or premium. And if just 30% of them go premium because they always choose the premium, I think you'll find it'll be incredibly valuable for you, okay? So with that said, get out there and go make some money. Make it a profitable weekend for yourself, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. 
Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video and listen, we've got a lot more information for you to help you with growing your real estate business. We load new videos nearly every day and I want you to have access. So you gotta do two important things. It's both totally free. Number one, I want you to subscribe to this channel. You'll see the little subscribe button for you to click. If you don't have an account with YouTube, set it up, it's totally free. You gotta subscribe to this channel. And the most important factor, you gotta ring the bell. Right next to that subscribe button, you'll see a little bell to turn turn on notifications that will let you know every time I load a new money making video to help you with growing your real estate business. Subscribe and make sure you ring the bell. We'll see you in the next video.